Hey everybody, it's Jay the Whiskey Pirate. I'm going back right now to Arden American Distillery and checking out their cast strength edition for the US. Following up on their very successful and very tasty 80 small batch, this whiskey does what I think just about every good cast strength offering should do from a distiller that wants to showcase and build on, well, what they're already doing very well. And Arden American Distillery is doing a lot of things very, very well. If you haven't already yet, please go see my video on their 80 small batch. You'll find out why I like that whiskey a lot, just like this one. So what's the deal with this whiskey outside of it being cast strength? Well, a couple things have changed. For starters, in the small batch release, you saw an even 50-50 split between unpeated spirit and peated spirit. This time for the cast strength edition, you have more of that peated spirit. The maturation and cask usage has changed a little bit as well. That's a, that's a tongue tire right there. The cask usage and maturation has changed a little bit as well. For the 80 small batch, you saw a 35% use of X sherry wine casks and 65% use of X bourbon barrel. Now for this cask strength offering, you're seeing a 10% use of X sherry wine cask and 90% X bourbon barrel. So what does that do? Well, for me, it makes this whiskey very bright. Being that it is more peated, you're certainly gonna taste that peat, but in this case, I get more smoke than I do peat. Now, that's not always the case, and I could probably make a whole entire video on the way that that is different, but just trust me on it that there is a difference between smoke and peat, even though a lot of times they're used interchangeably. I digress. Since the distillery is on the west coast of the Scottish Highlands, you have, again, all that sea salt air influence that I enjoy so much about their small batch. So that salt pepper note, that brininess, that coastalness, like I mentioned in the other video, if you're a fan of Talisker, this is right up your alley. If you're a fan of the Campbelltown whiskeys like Springbank, Kilcarran, Glen Scotia, this still flies in that same pattern. So you're going to find something I think you're going to enjoy. Being that there's not as much sherry cask usage in this, there is not quite that level of funkiness as I described in the small batch, but I still think you're going to, to find that. You still have that citrus note, that brighter berry sweetness. It just builds on that salt pepper character. This also kind of makes me think of Kalila more in that 15 year unpeated style, even though, like I said, there is more peat in this, so if you're becoming a fan of this coastal style that seems to be taking off for Scotch whiskey right now, go find this. It was a smaller release, special edition, about $90 a bottle. So you may not see this around as much as the 80 small batch, but I hope there's still some out there for you to grab. It is worth picking up. Have you been lucky enough to try this or get your hands on a bottle? If you have, let me know what you think. I'll be looking forward to sharing more with you soon. Cheers.